a new series is coming on in January and it's entitled The Messiah. And from what the short clips are showing, it seems like they've looked at a lot of what the hadith mentioned about the judge. And it seems like the whole series will be about somebody who's been given powers like the judge, but they don't mention the judge. Now, some people said, oh, Molana, can you tell people not to watch it? I said, if you tell people not to watch it, they watch it more. <laughs> you tell kids not to go to the fire, they go to the fire. So it's not about whether you watch it or not watch it. It's about being aware that in our tradition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about Dajjal, number one. Number two, in our tradition, in our Islam, the Prophet ﷺ told us that ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's refuge from Dajjal. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min fitnatil masihi Dajjal. The Prophet ﷺ himself, he was a prophet, the greatest prophet. And he himself used to pray that, Oh Allah, I seek your refuge from the fitna, the greatest fitna of Masih Dajjal. So just keep in mind that that's fiction. It might have been taken from our hadith, no problem. However, by watching that, it should give us fear that this is what's going to happen one day. And the Prophet ﷺ said that will be the most difficult, that those people with Iman in the morning, they will lose their Iman by the evening. And those people with Iman in the evening, they will lose their Iman in the morning. That's why it is extremely, extremely important that each and every one of us please read Surah Kahf every single Friday. The Prophet ﷺ said it is a protection against the Dajjal. Surah Kahf is a protection against the Dajjal. Every Friday. That's more important. Protection is more important. So whether you watch it or not, just be aware that this kind of fitna is going to come. It's going to be the greatest fitna. And we should tell our children and say that if you want protection from this kind of fitna, then you must pray Surah Kahf every Friday. In fact, in the trailer, it shows a man. You know the depictions of Jesus where they have the person with the long hair and that, that kind of person who is going around. And, and then in one of the sections it says, convert you. And then it takes out the vert and it says, O oh, con you. And that's what Dajjal is going to be as well. Whether he's going to convert you or con you.